So most of the time when we prescribe bridges at House of PT, what we're referring to is a glute bridge. There's a ton of different ways of doing bridges. You might have seen in Pilates doing a segmental bridge where you roll your hips back and peel each layer off the ground or in yoga where they do a wheel, which I'm not going to demonstrate, but that's when you're in a full back bend. In PT, what we're talking about is a glute bridge or extending from your hips. So in this situation, we want to be in neutral spine and we want to avoid that arched back. So when you lift in this position, a lot of times you'll feel pressure here in your lower back, so right around your waistband. And what we want when we assign you bridges is contraction in your glutes and the back of your thighs or your hamstrings. So the setup, you're going to find neutral spine, take a deep breath, contract on the exhale. So I just brought my belly button to my spine without flattening my back. You see how I still have space? I could still fit my hand. Okay, that's neutral spine. And you know you're neutral if you put your fingertips on your headlights and they are facing the ceiling. Okay, so your headlights, put your hands on your hips where your fingertips land, that bony part in the front of your pelvis should be facing the ceiling. And now we're gonna keep that neutral spine as we extend through the hips. So you can see the difference. My rib cage is not flared out and I look like a straight line, shoulders to knees. Very different than if I was doing it totally relaxed and lifting from my ribs and stomach. That's gonna cause discomfort in your back, not gonna get the glute control that we want. Neutral spine. Headlights are facing the ceiling. Extend through the hips. Those are your glute bridges.